Hey, what up guys? BT Sensei is back again. I uh, checked out a free beat-em-up game called Hollow X Break, which was a super dope VTuber beat-em-up game uh, made by the same developers of Hollow Care. And if you guys aren't aware of Hollow Care, Hollow Care is another VTuber game made by the same developers that is re very reminiscent to Vampire Survivors, another amazing game that you guys should totally check out. Um, just a couple thoughts. I have played some playthroughs with myself and a couple other friends uh, during the week and uh, thought some drop some thoughts, okay? So right off the bat, um, the game already feels like a mix of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game, and Phantom Breakers, Phantom Breakers Battlegrounds, where you beat up all these enemies, slowly level up, and as soon as you slow, as soon as you level up, you get more moves, you get more specials, uh, bigger bigger attack damage on certain specials as well. It's pretty dope. And uh, I was leveling up like crazy. I think I'm max I think I'm almost like not maxed out, but leveled up all the way to like level 37 or 38 in my last playthrough. But yeah, this game is awesome. Um, very reminiscent to those two games. I was playing a lot of the I don't know what her name was but she was an ice chick she was my first playthrough and the other vtuber I was playing with on my second playthrough was the one with the gun and she was a much easier playthrough than the last playthrough I had which is pretty dope um, but yeah you slowly uh, build your way up and as soon as you build up levels you get this new charge attack that absorbs uh, additional hits or enemy hits, basically armor moves and whatnot, and you end up getting new specials, and all these specials uh, have cooldowns on them. So you could like toss a grenade, maybe do a small ice attack here and there. Uh, it's pretty dope. I didn't play every single character to see all their specials, but I can definitely tell you all the characters uh, definitely had uh, very unique move sets and very unique specials. Uh, sadly, there's no throws. I didn't see any throws when you walk up to, to people, and you didn't. I don't. I didn't see any jumping either, which is another one I could have used for this beat 'em up. But it's not that big of a deal. Which, speaking of gear, I spoke of gear, and uh, as soon as you beat like a single wave of enemies in certain areas of the stages, uh, stages have like multiple tiers that go up to I think six or seven, reaching up to the final boss. You do collect these boxes that give you hollow coins and gear, and you can always equip the gear in the pause menu or equip it on the spot during the during the fight. Uh, the hollow coins help you buy additional items that you can use to fight enemies. They got healing items, projectiles, all that really good stuff. Uh, some items are really really good in the game, like the golden shuriken. I used that a lot on on the uh, on the bosses which was really nice and of course the healing items that help out your co-op partners and help out your companions which is really cool uh, a lot of these just factor into just getting to the shop buying all the stuff and then where I mostly spent my coins was the gear system in the gear system you can upgrade or enhance the uh, the gear that you got from the fights so let's say you had a maid dress that was equipped on you and it was a low star rarity or a medium rarity or something like that. Uh, you can go ahead and enhance that equipment, but the equipment enhancing was has a small chance of possibility of enhancing to the next rarity, giving you more stat boost. It's like one more thing I forgot about too. You could buy emotes and the emotes Man, these are crazy. I loved all the emotes in this game because all the artists who dedicated their pieces into the game uh, were featured as emotes. And uh, I'm a big fan of Two Snacks, and I, I saw Two Snacks' uh, emotes in there, and they were just so wonderful to look at. I saw like all sorts of references to like other VTuber stuff, and you can buy these emo packs as a singular pack, a five pack, or a ten pack. Of course, the 10 pack, I think, was the 4,000 coins, and that's a lot of coins if you're just starting out and you're just trying to focus on gear and stuff. You can choose up to four VTubers starting. Um, I don't know specifically their names, but they all have different unique attacks and specials. And towards the end of the game, you can unlock the rest of the boss characters uh, too to use them alongside hard mode. And I still haven't tried hard mode, but hard mode is apparently a one-and-done type of playthrough where if you mess up, and you die or, or get KO'd, it's basically game over 
if you don't have like a co-op buddy or anything like that. Pretty intense stuff, but I'm glad that the game ha also has all these new characters that you can unlock towards the end, and on top of that, a new difficulty mode. Co-op is up to four players, however, sadly, there is no online multiplayer. I end up playing with my friends uh, through remote play on Steam, and it worked out perfectly, and the game is complete chaos when it's in remote play. Just seeing all the players run around dancing and doing all their specials and stuff was really, really cool to see, and I really appreciate that feature of the game. Um, usually with Hollow Cure, because they do update the game, I'm hoping that Hollow X Break uh, gets future updates with uh, online multiplayer sooner or later. Overall, uh, my thoughts on Hollow X Break was pretty awesome. Uh, it's a fun-ass two to three hour game with a hard mode and difficult counter replayability, and it's entirely free, which is always a nice surprise to have really awesome fan free games on Steam. Um, we're hoping, 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 hoping to get more future updates from this game. Like I said, with the online multiplayer, more characters, maybe future features in the, in the future, uh, maybe a different arcade mode route or a completely different arcade mode where they have like new enemies and new setups and stuff. Uh, that'd be really cool. But yeah, this game never fails to impress with this amazing sprite work, music, and fun gameplay that they just offered in the two games, and two of their games best to date. Challenging bosses, waves of enemies, and special attacks will keep you coming back to play more of this game. Hollow X Break is just a truly wonderful gem. Thank you so much for watching. This was a super short, quick look. I know I wasn't very detailed in it. Um, if you guys really enjoy Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, Phantom Breakers, Battlegrounds, or even the Dungeons and Dragons Capcom beat em up from so long ago, uh, definitely give Hollow X Break a shot. It's free. It's not. It's not. Doesn't hurt to install. And I highly, highly recommend it. I really enjoyed this game uh, with peers and by myself. And it was just a wonderfully well-made game. I loved it. Try out Hollow X Break. And uh, if you loved what you saw today, definitely check out the rest of my future videos. I will be playing more games and hopefully uploading more of the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth playthrough. Uh, until then, thank you so much for watching. And I really appreciate y'all. Thank you.